Hey everyone, this is Max with Ridgeline Fence and Deck. We just wrapped up this hog wire fence project here in Edina, Minnesota this week. Let's go take a look. So in today's video, we want to show you our hog wire fence and how it's done a little bit differently with the steel post that's ultimately going to give you a better finished product. The first point we're going to talk about is the idea of steel posts. With all our wood fences, whether it be hog wire, craftsman, stockade, horizontal, it doesn't matter. We're going to be using our galvanized steel post technology and then trimming it out in cedar. What that allows us to do is give you the customer a lifetime warranty on the post installation. That covers any heaving, warping, twisting, cracking, rotting. And we also use a no dig, no mess installation process as well. And what that is, is exactly is we're going to be driving the fence posts in the ground four and a half to five and a half feet instead of using a traditional dig and set with concrete method. The last thing that a lot of customers really like about the no dig, no mess installation, we're going to be able to install an average fence like this in two days or less. There's not going to be this big gap in between when the posts are done and the actual fence is installed. The last point we want to touch on with the build process here is the idea of screws. We decide to use screws for a couple key reasons over nails. First and foremost, screws aren't going to back out of boards due to humidity and temperature levels changing throughout the seasons. And in addition, there's always a chance that something may happen to your fence from a tree branch like what we have overhead here or a car that maybe would run into or back into your fence. Screws allow you to replace those boards very easily versus nails that aren't quite as easy of a process. All right, so there was a couple key design elements we wanted to talk to you guys about as well. The first would be the idea of a deck board over the entire fence line. We use a deck board over a one by four or a one by simply because the deck board is going to give it a nice smooth finish. It's going to be wider and also thicker. So this is visually going to look better and then also last longer on your fence. The second thing we wanted to talk about as well is the idea of having step downs on your fence to transition with height. Because our hog wire fence panels come in a square welded grid, to lower the height and raise the height, we use step downs. By overhanging the deck boards, it gives it a very nice finished look. The last design element we wanted to talk about as we wrap up today's video would be the idea of having a hog wire gate. We do hog wire gates instead of picket gates because it really ties the fence line together. And by picture framing our two by four joints here, it sets off the fence as a whole. I appreciate you guys taking the time to check out what makes our hog wire fences a little bit different from how they're traditionally built here in Minnesota. To recap, we're gonna be using steel fence posts that are gonna be driven into the ground instead of dug and set into concrete. This is gonna give you, the homeowner, a lifetime warranty against things like heaving, warping, twisting, cracking, and rotting. And we're also gonna be using screws instead of nails. If you have any questions about our hog wire design or wanna learn more about a fence, give us a call at 612-868-4879. Thank you.